Next on Worcester News Tonight, police are investigating allegations made against the teacher at West Boylston Middle High School. And rumors prompt a scare and a shelter-in-place order at Quabbin Regional High School. Good evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Tim McCone. No arrests made, but Barry police are investigating claims a student brought a gun to school today. Quabbin Regional Middle and High School students were told to remain in their classrooms for several hours Friday. Our Andy Madison has more from Barry. A regular school day disrupted at Quabbin Regional High School when a student reports a classmate had a gun in their backpack. Police responding to the school while a pre-recorded message goes out to parents. Obviously, the administration, upon hearing this rumor, felt the need to proceed with an abundance of caution. As such, authorities were called immediately and the Barry police put the high school and middle school in shelter-in-place status. The officers uh, were there for uh, over two hours speaking to many different individuals, students and parents, I'm sorry, students and staff, to determine um, the validity behind uh, whether or not there was a weapon. Students and staff remained in classrooms while officers investigated and found the claim turned out to be false. No actual weapon was seen. Uh, the, the, the idea of a weapon was there. So because of that, we interviewed uh, a few persons of interest. A student was taken from the school by police to be interviewed. There was a notable police presence as school let out for the weekend. As the investigation continues, the police chief credits students with being alert. We need people to do that. If you see something, you have to say something. Uh, we don't have a school resource officer in that school. Uh, even if we did, would that officer have been the one that would have seen or heard anything? The school staff recently went through school safety training. The shelter-in-place order was in effect for about two hours before all students were released at regular time. In Barrie, Andy Madison, Worcester News Tonight. Reaction tonight from parents of students at West Boylston Middle High School. Police in the town are investigating allegations of improper conduct by a teacher on a male student. Our Olivia Lemon has the details. As a parent with children in the school, you want to make sure that they're safe when they come to school. There's a big reaction from my son and his friends saying that they can't believe any of this. Parents of West Boylston Middle High School students received an email Thursday about allegations of a teacher who had inappropriate contact with a student. Nobody wants to have anything inappropriate to, you know, to come towards your kids at any time. The message from the superintendent tells parents the teacher was removed from the school and will have no further contact with any students. I guess if allegations are found to be true, then you know, we'll have to see what her next move is. But I think at this point she did the right thing. Police say the incident involves a male high school student who allegedly received inappropriate messages from the teacher as well as verbal communication. The student told someone in the school who then told police. We don't know what actually happened and I think we should just let the police do what they're supposed to do. Police say investigators will look at the teacher's computer and cell phone. No charges have been filed yet. Ruining a teacher's career or ruining a boy's reputation, these are big things and we need to take our time and be considerate and thoughtful. Ray Douglas says her son knows the student and special education teacher accused of these accusations and doesn't want to pass judgment just yet. My son loves him, thinks he's the best teacher at the school, loves him, says he helps him more than any other teacher's ever helped him. It's concerning, but you don't know all the facts and you don't know if it's true or not true and what actually did or didn't happen. Olivia Lemon, Worcester News Tonight. Meantime, Massachusetts education officials are calling for a state takeover of the Southbridge Public Schools because they say the schools are chronically underperforming. A recent review found 34% of middle and high school students failed at least one course last year, and nearly 20% of students were suspended at least once last year. The Attorney General's office holding a seminar in the city Friday evening in hopes of helping to protect civil rights. Staff from Attorney General Maura Healy's office were at the Worcester Islamic Center to help answer questions about civil rights, workers' rights, health care, and more. The AG's office also recently met with leaders in the Central Mass Muslim community to try and establish a plan for a peaceful and supportive environment for everyone. The event was open to the public. It was a central mass institution for more than 50 years. Friday, the demolition of the Spags campus on Route 9 in Shrewsbury continues. Spags was sold to Building 19 back in 2002, which ran its, which, which ran its business out of there until it closed the location in 2013. The campus is now being demolished to make way for new retail space and apartments. Today, we caught up with some locals who reflected on Spags. 
Every, we come down here all the time to get stuff, and I'm sure she remembers on Saturdays walking over here to get the uh, hot dogs in the hot dog wagon so they get out back. But yeah, just so uh, something for her to remember. State police arrest two men for cocaine trafficking in Sturbridge Thursday night. Shortly before 10 p.m., state police pulled over a black Jeep Cherokee that was speeding on 84 East. During a search of the car, police discovered just over a kilo of cocaine and two prescription pills. Police arrested both occupants, Alexis Garcia and Kevin Sells. They each faced multiple charges, including trafficking cocaine. The market's closing lower after a wild day on Wall Street. The down taking 390 points. The Nasdaq tumbled 126 points to finish below 4,500. The S&P 500 was also down 41 points. Stocks have never done this poorly over the first two weeks of the year. A conference in Worcester this weekend will focus on how healthy food is grown. Organizers hope they can increase awareness about the positives of organic farming. Our Patricia Nicholas has more. We need to start taking charge of our own health. On Saturday, this room will be filled with organic farmers and enthusiasts for a day-long conference. The Northeast Organic Farming Association says it's important for people to know what goes into the food they grow. It comes down to if, if we aren't going to take seriously where our food comes from, it not only um, will our, our children be unhealthy and ourselves, you know, cancer, diabetes, you know, all these heart disease, all these diseases are, these are diseases of the Western culture. According to NOFA, only 10% of farmers are organic farmers, but they say the number is growing. You know, not everyone's going to choose to be 100% organic or 100% you know, eat 100% organic or grow 100% organic food, but I find personally that I feel like I'm doing something for my health, and I also feel like I'm giving back to nature in a way that's meaningful for me, and, and also I care a lot about my health and the health of my family and loved ones. So. Kathleen O'Keefe is the conference coordinator. She says she got involved with NOFA after attending a conference years ago. She says it's a decision that she will never regret. I think that especially in this modern day when fewer and fewer people are connecting face to face on important issues, it's great to come together at a conference like this so people see each other again and again. You're asking questions face to face with someone. You're learning about other people's experiences. And that was our Patricia Nicholas reporting. In the race for the White House now, a comment Ted Cruz made th during Thursday night's Republican debate about Donald Trump's New York values has apparently made him public enemy number one in the Big Apple. Political reporter Allison King explains. Since September, the Constitution hasn't changed. <laughs> but the poll numbers have. It started out well for Ted Cruz, surging in the polls, a commanding presence on the Republican debate stage with just over two weeks till the Iowa caucuses, where he's battling it out for first place with Donald Trump. Trump has been the leading voice questioning Cruz's Canadian birth. Cruz was ready. I, I recognize that Donald is dismayed that his poll numbers are falling in Iowa. But it began to unravel for Cruz when he was asked to explain what he means when he describes Trump as having, quote, New York values. Everyone understands that the values in New York City are socially liberal or pro-abortion or pro-gay marriage, focus around money and the media. Not a lot of conservatives come out of Manhattan. I'm just saying. Conservatives actually do come out of Manhattan, including William F. Buckley and others, just so you understand. Trump went on to describe New York as a great place with loving people who rallied together on 9-11 in a way that moved the entire world. When the World Trade Center came down, I saw something that no place on earth could have handled more beautifully, more humanely than New York. Everybody in the world watched and everybody in the world loved New York and loved New Yorkers. And I have to tell you, that was a very insulting statement. And I think he really just pummeled Cruz on that point, And I think that might be the turning point. Boston University professor Thomas Whalen thinks Cruz significantly hurt his standing against Trump in that one exchange, while at the same time allowing Trump to elevate his status in the GOP. I think it's a major game changer for Donald Trump, probably his finest moment in the campaign. For Worcester News Tonight, I'm Allison King.
Still to come, we get a check of the local forecast. Plus, we now know one of the winners of Wednesday's massive Powerball jackpot, and we'll hear from them in just a few minutes. Stay with us.